Hello and welcome to another game of Evolve on the PC at maximum settings. Do you know what? I'm going to get this out of the way straight away. I fucking love this game. Honestly, once you actually start to get into playing as the Beast, which is what I prefer to do rather than playing the actual uh, the other four guys. Um, I was playing this last night after playing some armor. I thought I'll just play this for 10-20 minutes before I go to bed. I ended up playing this for two and a half hours. It was that amazing. Once you've actually got the Beast and you've started to work out the best way to play this game, it is absolutely fantastic. It's definitely action orientated. There was there was times during the actual violence, shall we say, when I was getting in there and jumping around, stomping, throwing rocks and burning them. I was actually laughing to myself thinking, these guys are going to be absolutely panicking when you slam into them, split them up and do your charge and other things like that. It's absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to show you some gameplay now. Basically, I've almost evolved and I'm nearly at stage 3, which means when I get to stage 3, which is when I become a real beast, I have to destroy a like a control point by ripping the doors off and smashing it. And obviously they have to kill me before I actually finish my objective. And it's just a really brilliant fight and you start to work out your own tactics. Just see, I can sneak, which means they don't see my footprints on the floor. I can pounce like this on them if they separate. Um, they can't get me off unless I'm shot by another teammate. You can hide in the bushes, they don't see you, things like this. It's really, really cool, such an adrenaline rush. Um, so, as you have to see in here, they're starting to come in now and separate a little bit. This guy's on his own, which is not a good idea. These guys really do need to stay together. And I'm going to get in here and burn, smash, kill, and rip some fucking heads. And I'm going to come in again in a minute. Here we are. I'm just trying to... Again, while I'm here, this is another tactic with these animals. I can kill these and feed on them to evolve and get more shield at the top. Or if I feel that the, these guys are following me, I can attack these animals and run away. And they will attack the uh, the human players. So lots of tactics and strategy in here. Uh, as you can see, they've put a dome down. One of their trappers has actually trapped me in this dome now. And I can't get out of this dome for one minute. So look at the carnage in here. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> At this point I decided just to go for the uh, flame, you get three points that you can upgrade at the beginning, flame, slam, charge and a few other ones and as you can see I'm ready to evolve, so I'm just going to try and take as many of these down as I can. Basically once they're down as you can see there, they've got a little bit of life for the medic to bring them back. If I totally kill them like I'm going to do with this guy, I'm going to pound him and burn him and kill him, I didn't quite finish him off there, um, so I'm going to feed quickly. They get a drop ship time which is up at the top left, which means if one of them survives and the other three are dead, as long as that player survives for that amount of time, they can be re-dropped back in. So it's to my advantage to either take them all out, or take one, feed and come back before that drop ship, or get to my objective. Really is fantastic. One of the objectives was uh, I had to destroy this, like as I said, a control point. But it was in a room down a tunnel, and I was just filling the room with fire, and they were running in, running out, panicking. Uh, it's one of those games I was just laughing at the amount of carnage that them just running in. <laughs> you know, on, on, on voice comms, saying the fucking monsters here, and running back out again. I couldn't stop laughing. Absolutely loved it. So I've evolved again. So now, the hunted becomes the hunter and as you can see there's a power relay down there that's what I need to get down now and destroy that's all it is now this game could go on for an hour if you wanted it to but what happens is to stop the monster from camping after about three or four minutes I get a countdown if I don't start to w work my way towards that power relay then my health and the game counts down and the humans will win so you can't just camp but there is quite a lot of strategy and the more I play it, the more I absolutely love this game. As I said, I prefer to play the monster than I do to be in the AI. So now I'm actually feeding and I'm going to work my way down to that uh, control point, which is where a lot of the action is going to kick off big time. So there you go, you can see the relay there to my left. 
If I crouch past those birds, they don't fly in the air, which means I don't give my position away. So these guys look like they're out looking for me, which gives me a quick sneaky opportunity now to rip this off, smash it before they come and start to attack. See here, what I wanted to do was if I sneak past these birds, it won't give my location away. They don't have like a, a radar or anything, so they don't know. Oops, I've given my position away. If you crouch and go into like a, a, a pre-jump mode, you can pin one of them down, such as this guy. I just missed him. It would have pinned him down and he wouldn't have been able to get, uh, get me off unless the others came to help him. So you can even play quite stealthy as the monster. And a few times I've actually hidden in the bushes and they've run straight past me. As you can see, there's my footprints on the floor. If you crouch, it doesn't leave footprints. So I'm going to see if I can actually pounce on one of these guys. Worst thing they can do is separate. Honestly, that's a tip for you if you're playing as the humans. I've won a lot of games as the monster by one guy running off, you know, trying to be a lone wolf, and he gets absolutely annihilated. So I'm hoping, as you can see, I'm sending out a pulse there, which is my feeding pulse. It's basically like my radar, and it tells me where the animals are for feeding. So if I think that one of them is only going to be defending here and the others are going to run off, I'm going to pounce, take him off. Looks like this guy on the right is starting to run away, which means I'm down to three. They also have a dog called Daisy with them. Now Daisy will sniff out and bark in the location uh, that I'm at. So it's quite a benefit for me as well to take Daisy out, which means it makes it a little bit harder. There's a guy down here on his own on the left just wondering if I can pounce on these three. Oops. There we go, got him. There you go. That was a sneak attack. Now I can they won't he cannot get me off now until somebody fires at me. There you go, and I've taken one of them out. I'm gonna burn the rest of them. Smash him into the ground. So you've got all these tacks at the top that build up. Uh, blue being shield, red being my uh, health. And there we go. So they've got 1 minute 57 up at the top left before they get a respawn in. And honestly, if you're thinking of getting this game, it's absolutely brilliant. I, I, I'm saying that I enjoy the monster more than playing as the humans. But I've played as the humans. I can imagine if you've got three or four of your friends, you're just going to laugh your head off at this. There is a lot of tactics in it. It's great fun. And uh, definitely enjoying it. I bought the game for £32. Not on Steam. I got it from uh, Kingwin, I think it was including uh, extra skins and DLC, so it's not as bad as people make out. But anyway, in the meantime, I'll let you watch the rest of this video. Absolutely loving it. It's so addictive. Once you get in, um, I'm just loving playing as a monster. I've played as a wraith, didn't enjoy it as this one. Um, get in, join me, leave some comments in the box below and I'll answer it. In the meantime, I absolutely love this game. Definitely a sleeper hit for me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video coming soon. Bye-bye. Fucking have it. Help! Oh.